my favorite videos to film because this is one of my favorite things to do is to go try new coffee shops. I've had a lot on my list and a lot of them have been in OC, so I just decided to have an OC day and hit all of them. First up, we have Little Ox. This is in Fullerton. I heard that their matcha is so good and like just by the color, as soon as they called my name and I looked over and I saw this beauty sitting there, I knew instantly this is going to be a good quality matcha. They have just a regular matcha latte you can get and then they also have Gen Chi matcha, which I guess is a premium ceremonial grade. The regular one is also ceremonial grade, but I think this one's just like, you know, a little bit of a higher quality matcha. They do charge an extra dollar for oat milk. And then if you order it off the menu, they already lightly sweeten it with simple syrup, but I replaced simple syrup for brown sugar. But enough chit chat and I need to dive into this. Shit, this is so far for me. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Oh my God, that is so good. Sorry we're starting off this video so strong. This is one of the best matcha lattes I've gotten at a coffee shop. You guys know I love Stereoscope. It's on Stereoscope's level. It was so cute in there. I will say it was $9 for this, but I love it. I'm sorry, I can't complain about the price. It's delicious. Perfect amount of everything where you still taste the matcha, where it's a little sweet, it's not too milky at all in the slightest, but it's still like creamy. I'm sorry, you're perfect. Must try, must try. If you're just like passing through, if you ever find yourself in Fullerton area. We have a lot to get through today. A lot of drinks to taste, but I'm afraid that this is gonna be gone. This is gonna be gone, so pray for me today. Nook Coffee Bar in Costa Mesa. This is actually at the lab, which is kind of like an outdoor little shopping mall. It also has a bunch of restaurants in it. It has one of my favorites, favorite restaurants, which is Habana. It's like a little Cuban restaurant. Also is a perfect color. Like what is going on today? Today is my lucky day for some good quality matcha. I got a strawberry matcha with oat milk. Their matcha is just kind of like regular and then you could get it sweetened however you want. They also had lavender. They had a bunch of different flavors actually which I thought were interesting but I if I'm gonna do something a little different it's gonna be a strawberry matcha whoa whoa that packed a punch that is a lot more flavor than I was expecting I wasn't expecting it to be that sweet honestly I could have gotten it half sweet like that is like that's a real punch in the face you like really sweet drinks or sweet matcha it literally just tastes like strawberry milk like I can't even really taste the matcha flavor which is why like I would get it half sweet this just tastes like a delicious strawberry milk like where's the match like I'm not complaining it's delicious and I know that it's like good quality matcha because like look at that color this place is cute it is more of just like a walk in walk out go along your day with like shopping and stuff it's not like a sit down and do work at a place i love their branding like i love the sleeves i also give it a high rating because since it's a strawberry matcha i'm so glad that it doesn't have like little things in it i like when it's just sweetened with strawberry i don't want like extra stuff i just want the flavor and that's it like i'm not trying to chew on my drink i love orange county this is great about me I'm so easily influenced like if something pops up on my for you page saying like you have to try this drink I'm in the car like 45 minutes away no problem I got the famous little dirty chai from Alta coffee roasters I think that's what it's called it's such a cute little like breakfast spot that also has lattes but I guess there's something about this dirty chai blew up on TikTok. I went in there and I was like you know why I'm here I honestly get embarrassed when something goes viral and then I go to try it and I'm like trying to act like I'm like oh like this sounds kind of good like maybe it's good let me try it no I'm gonna go in there and be like I saw this drink on TikTok. like I don't know how the heck to order it like can you help me out here girl knew exactly what i was talking about we actually had like a good conversation about it it was cute i think this was 8 50 9 50 after tip yeah mm -hmm. wow there used to be a coffee shop 
by where I used to work at. There would be this brown sugar cinnamon latte, which was actually the first time I ever tried oat milk in a latte or just like oat milk in general. It was the best drink ever. And then the place closed down and I have not been able to find something even similar to that drink. That's it. It tastes like a brown sugar, cinnamony, creamy, magical bundle of goodness. Wow. They were not lying about this. I also know why it's so creamy. She literally put this shit in the blender and she blended it up with the espresso, with the chai, with the oat milk, everything to make it a creamy, delicious masterpiece. Insane, insane. I mean, I'm a matcha girl, but this is one of the best drinks I've ever had. actually been to Kit Coffee before. I've been here a few times and I really, really like their strawberry matcha. This is one that's actually on their spring menu that I keep seeing everywhere again on TikTok. This is their creamsicle, but I got it as a matcha. You can also get it as a latte. And then this one I saw from Danielle on TikTok. This isn't really like on the menu, but she said every time she's in Newport Beach, she always gets it. And it's a matcha latte with oat milk and a shot of ube. I think I'm gonna try this one first because this one I am like the most excited for. See, now, not as cute all mixed up, but it's okay. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's insane. Why is this video so good? Why am I so lucky today? I got some good choices. I always knew matcha and ube would taste good together, but I've never had it. This is my first time. I don't know why, but this is it. This is insane. It's perfect. It's so creamy. It's so good. I honestly could have had it an extra shot of matcha in this. If you guys heard, every time I go to Kit Coffee, I usually get two shots of matcha. Sometimes I good, I'm good with just one. Sometimes I feel a bit crazy and I want to get two because I want it to be a little bit stronger. But honestly, I'm not mad for a little afternoon little latte. I think this one's one of my favorites because I can see myself getting this like again and again and again and again and again. That's really, really freaking good. Okay. Now we have the orange creamsicle. As you can see, like I said before, like their matcha is just a little bit lighter than like for reference, like this one, as you can tell, like this is closer to like my preferred, maybe even a little bit darker. So obviously this one is going to have like more cream in it because of the cream top. Wow. I don't know. Like, I mean, I love orange Fanta. Like, I'm an orange Fanta girl. But, like, something about orange and my matcha and, like, my lattes and stuff, like, doesn't sound super appealing to me. But it's so subtle. Oh my god, yum. So refreshing. Would I get it again? No, I would get the ube. But this is something to try if you are, like, a big fan of orange creamsicle, dreamsicle things. If that's your journey. And then I would go down this path. I would get her. That's actually quite delicious. Okay. Maybe I'm standing. Maybe I'm. Maybe I've had too much caffeine today. Okay. I need to get a snack after this. I don't think I could get this every single day because it does really. Like it's sweet. It tastes like kind of like a dessert matcha. But so fun and so different. I don't think I've ever had anything like this before. I've never had a matcha like this before. I don't know how we got so lucky in today's video. Every single one of these is insane. For my everyday traditional love a good matcha, Little Ox is insane. Nook is one of the best strawberry matchas I've ever had. Definitely, definitely recommend. Alta Coffee Warehouse absolutely 10 out of 10 need 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 to get and then come down to kick coffee because kick coffee is one of my favorite places just because they have amazing avocado toast amazing breakfast burritos great different types of lattes lots and lots of options please let me know if you guys try any of these places i really really need to know what you guys think and uh i need to go get a snack and drink some water because i'm gonna freak out <laughs>